So this project, and I'm finishing it up, is to make it something that balances a camera. So when you tilt this forward and you tilt it back, it's going to uh, adjust for those tilts and keep so that the camera's always level. But the first thing you're going to need to understand are that um, it's powered by a servo, but it's also reading angles from IMU, which is an internal measuring unit. So if you look at your iPhone, it has a IMU in it too. And it basically tells you the X, Y, Z coordinates. So X coordinates are pretty easy to understand. They're when you go up and down. So you can see the camera right here. The iPhone, when I move it up towards the sky, that's the X is changing. If I go the other way, it's going to go positive. When I roll it, so this is when I go left to right like that, that is actually Y axis. So left to right is actually Z, and you're going to see the Z right here is when I just move the camera around that axis, so keeping it in the center, and then walking around, that changes the Z. So the X is up and down, Y is that roll, and Z is that um, left and right. So the, you got to send these signals to the servo, and the servo you're going to see that it has, um, this is the full range of the servos I have, so 180 degrees, so this is the whole 180. But the measurements on the um, I'm you're a little bit different so there's a little bit of coding that needs to be going on to get this thing to work correctly and so the next part I'm going to go over how I wrote that code and where I got that code from so I got this code off of the geek bomb blog spot and I think she got it from this uh, code dial person right there but the only trick I did was I added my two servos right here so um, include wire H um, I had this the servo library and then servo 1, servo 2, and then when you get all the way down to here, this is all the things to um, get information off the IMU. Get past that. And there's a part where you start um, printing out angles. So here you can see I attach the servo. So this is in the setup loop. I attach the servos here. And I uh, write them to 90, so they're both, um, they both start up in that front, the um, it's kind of like a centered position, so one is pointing straight forward and one is pointing straight up. So this is in the setup. Then you're going to go down a little more, and when you get into the loop, you're going to see that I commented out all of this um, angle stuff that goes into the serial monitor. But I did create this dy, gy, x, and then dy, gy, z. So this remaps the angles for the servo or for the um, for the IMU, since you remember it goes on 180 to 180, while on the servo it's only 0 to 180, so this is what it does for this. The issue with the Z is I haven't figured it out all the way because the, the Z angle can go more than that because it can twist around a little bit. So I gotta play with that a little bit. Um, if it's attached to just the servo, you're not gonna have too many issues, but I gotta play around with that. And then here's a little bit of um, testing I did. But at the very end, you get those two remapped angles, and then you put it in there, and it should work fine. Um, let me know if that's clear, but basically um, attaching the two servos and then remapping those angles so that those angle values kind of fit to the servo angle values right here. And then um, the Z thing, a little bit messed up, but it works. And then spitting those angles out into the servo right. So this is what the finished product is. Usually when I tilt it like that, it's actually going forward pretty well. It's staying pretty forward. When I tilt it forward, it doesn't tilt back enough, and when I tilt it back, it doesn't really tilt forward enough. But I just don't know why it's doing it. I probably have to work on my code a little bit, or the servos may be messed up. But when you see that I take the IMU off and I do it by hand, it's really responsive. So probably something I just need to work on my code with to make that tilting um, adjustment a little bit better. But a pretty cool project, and I think this is a good starting point. And if I, I can't really use this on any cameras because the servos are too small. But I probably will use all the information I learned here to do it on a, um, a brushless gimbal, which is my next project. And I think I'm going to get some parts from Hobby King to build that thing. And gimbals, I believe, are a lot more stable and they don't have this herky jerkiness like the servos have. So it's called jitter. And the um, gimbals are just going to be a lot more smooth, which is way better for photography. And also, I'm not going to use a pan tilt. I'm going to use a roll with a tilt. And that's probably what I want. The pan I don't think comes in really handy, but I'm probably going to save this and do something, some things with a um, stop motion and um, tilt because I think it would be really cool. It's not too much harder to get that thing to, to roll and to turn like that. This last part is I'm going to put up my fritzing diagram. The only thing you should really know about this is that um, the two servers are run in parallel. I ran them in series before and I think it kind of messed them up and it was harder to power, but running them in parallel seems to work fine.
and subscribe to my channel. I'm probably going to be doing more Arduino camera based projects and things like this and um, uh, like it and let me know if you guys want any comments or questions. Thanks.